I've spent months testing the best dual motor electric scooters and out of the 45 models, these are the seven that I believe represent the best bang for your buck. Now the difference between a single and dual motor scooter is like comparing a Toyota to Prius to a Tesla Model S Plaid. The good news however is that I've found a perfect set of wheels for every experience level, whether you're a beginner, intermediate or seasoned pro. While testing the scooters, I paid close attention to the size and the power of the motors, focusing on voltage which affects acceleration and watts which determines at top speed. I also made sure to measure the nominal and peak power output as well as the performance of the controllers, brakes, tires and the ability to control and maneuver the scooters at speed. And to save you time my top recommendations are as follows. If you're on a budget and want a scooter that has enough power to rival models that cost upwards of $1,800, then the Splash Titan and its $1,139 price tag will be a perfect match. If you're searching for a scooter that is a true all-rounder, no matter the terrain or environment, and has the power to deliver cheap flapping top speeds, then the Mantis King GT is my top pick. And finally, if you want to shift the power dial up to 11 and lay your hands on a certified land rocket of a scooter, then the immensely powerful Wolf King GT will be just what you're looking for. Now, if you fancy sticking around, I'm going to go through a short and snappy analysis of each scooter, as well as touching on their pros and cons from my tests to leave you with a clearer picture of which may be the best for you. But before we get into the nitty gritty, I quickly want to ask that if you find value in the video, please let me know by liking and subscribing, and I'll do my best to bring you more like this. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you the cheapest dual motor electric scooter, the Splatch Twin. But don't be fooled, its price doesn't mean a compromise on quality. For an unbelievable $889, you get 48 volt 600 watt motors that deliver enough speed, torque and acceleration to leave your head buzzing with excitement. To be more specific, I'm talking about a top speed of 28 miles per hour, faster than a prime Usain Bolt, an acceleration rate of 0 to 15 miles per hour in a whiplashing 3 seconds and a peak power output of 2136 watts. For context, only one other dual mode scooter costs under $1000, the Unagi Model 1. Yet, despite sharing a similar price point, the Splash Twin boasts 2.4 times more mode power. This unparalleled value for money extends to the Twin's ride quality. A telescopic stem allows you to adjust the wide handlebars to a height that will maximize comfort and control, while the deck and kick plate mean you can adopt a balance stance and lean into the ride for greater maneuverability. What's more, the Twin also comes with front and rear springs that work in tandem with the scooter's solid low maintenance tires to deliver a reliable ride. And if you do need to stop suddenly, you can bank on the powerful drum and electronic brakes to bring you to a halt from 50 miles per hour in just 2.8 meters. Sure, if it's speed and power that you seek, the Splash Twin may not roar as loudly as you'd like, but if you're new to dual motor scooters and plan to ride through the city, this value busting trailblazer might just be your golden ticket. We're sticking with Splash for my next recommendation, the all new, all conquering Titan. Now one thing you'll notice as we delve deeper into the world of dual mode scooters is that power comes at a cost unless you're Splash, that is. This brand specializes in making premium models at affordable prices, and at $1,139, the Titan is a case in point. Armed with two 52 volt 1000 watt motors, it has enough gusto to rival scooters that cost upwards of $1,800. This means a top speed of 37 miles per hour, an acceleration rate of zero to 15 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, and due to the high voltage and wattage summoned by these jet thrusters, a peak power output of 2,600 watts that allows you to dominate inclines with ease. Simply put, no other scooter within its price class can touch these performance metrics. It's faster out of the blocks than even the far pricier Apollo Ghost. Then there's the Titan Stamina. Packing a 20.8 amp hour battery, it delivers a maximum range of 44 miles that again far outstrips similarly priced models. 
Even in my test where I rode it in its fastest setting, I was able to get 29 miles out of it. An eye on safety is evident in its disc brakes too. Supported by an electronic brake, you come to a complete stop from 15 miles per hour in a superb 2.4 meters. With handlebars that are among the widest that I've tested, a reinforced stem that prevents wobble, and a durable chassis, the Titan is a dream to control. This is further augmented by the sumptuous front and rear suspension that allows you to glide over varying terrain with the help of its plush tires. So there you have it, the Splatch Titan. If you want a top class scooter at a bargain basement price, then look no further. It's now time for a model that's been voted the best dual motor electric scooter of the year by our readers on electricscooterinsider.com, the Apollo Ghost. The product of a leading brand leveraging customer feedback on previous models to deliver an upgrade that raises the bar across the board, the new Ghost is $1,699 of refined power and exquisite design. So where else to start but with the motors? These 52 volt 1000 watt buttes hit the perfect balance between power and control. With a nominal power output of 2000 watts and a peak of 2600 watts, you're in for a system sizzling top speed of 37 miles per hour and an acceleration rate of 0 to 15 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds, both of which will leave your heart thudding. But at no point does the experience of riding this scooter feel untamable. This is an entry level performance scooter with enough finesse and added bite to leave you hungry for more. It doesn't end there though, the improved input to output power ratio of the motors is backed up by a rock solid stem which is now 50% stronger for improved sturdiness at speed, 50% thicker rims for added durability and a fine tuned suspension system that no longer bottoms out over rugged terrain. Its 10 inch tyres meanwhile deliver enough grip and cushioning to master daring manoeuvres at speed. Add tall wide handlebars, a large deck and powerful disc brakes into the mix and you have a dual motor scooter that's not only well suited to riders of all sizes but one that's deserving of its illustrious award. I've tested and reviewed a lot of Manti models, the Base, the Pro, the Pro SE, the list goes on, but this one, the V2, takes the cake. Channeling everything I loved about its fellow Manti models, the V2 is everything you'd want in a sequel. For starters, dual 60 volt 1000 watt motors pack a nominal power output of 2000 watts and a formidable peak power of 3000 watts. This translates into a top speed of 40 miles per hour and a hair raising acceleration rate of 0 to 15 miles per hour in just 2.1 seconds. You may be sitting there thinking this sounds all a bit much, but with its 25 amp sine wave controllers in tow, the delivery of power feels smooth as you push down on the thumb thrust. To put this into perspective, imagine a light switch. Now, flicking that switch on and off creates a sudden burst of energy, and this was exactly how the V2's predecessor felt while riding it. The throttle response was jerky. The sine wave controllers, on the other hand, can be likened to a dimmer dial, allowing you to pull power in a more controlled manner. In fact, everywhere you look, the Mantis V2 is all about control. Case in point, the new improved ergonomic hand grips. Kabu has jettisoned the foam grips that blighted the V1 Mantis in favour of new rubber variants, which significantly improve your hold of the wide handlebars. Alongside the roomy deck, 10 inch grippy tyres and well balanced chassis, the V2 is one of the easiest scooters to handle at speed and that's what makes it so popular. Not only is the scooter a natural on asphalt, its shock absorption credentials earn it a passing mark on more ambitious terrain including forest trails, dirt roads and gravel paths. And when it comes to needing to stop quickly, the V2 delivers. It has zoom hydraulic brakes that are top of the line, ensuring that you'll come to a stop from 15 miles per hour in just 2.7 meters. This scooter's impressive specs are a manifestation of the time, care and quality of the Mantis brand. If it's a versatile dual mode scooter with a thrill that you're searching for, then the Mantis V2 is sure to raise the hairs on the back of your neck. 
the king of the Mantis clan. This all-terrain juggernaut is one of my all-time favorite electric scooters. In fact, I'd say it is the most versatile electric scooter that I've ever tested, and I've tested a lot of scooters. Voted as the best all-terrain electric scooter by our readers on electricscooterinsider.com, it's bigger and better in every way than all the other Mantis scooters that came before it. With its dual 60 volt 1100 watt motors and 30 amp sine wave controllers leading the stellar highlight reel, including 2200 watts of nominal power, a staggering 4200 watts of peak power, a top speed of 43 miles per hour, and an acceleration rate of 0 to 15 miles per hour in a vicious 1.9 seconds, the Mantis King GT has everything an experienced rider could want from a high performance scooter. Riding it is like skiing down a pristine piste with jet thrusters on your back. Hills may as well not exist when you're riding this tank. You'll barely register a change in the terrain either thanks to its adjustable hydraulic suspension system that can be customized to suit any surface. With 10 inch ground hugging tires in play, it's no exaggeration to say that the King GT delivers Jeep level all terrain comfort. Now harnessing such exceptional performance, whether on a flat road or a forest trail, requires a few other jigsaw pieces to click into place. One is good handlebars and at 26 inches wide it's safe to say that the King GT answers this particular call. Ergonomically designed they grant outstanding control and stability whatever the environment. Another piece is the deck and again the GT produces the goods. It is vast with enough grip to keep your feet firmly planted. Add the kick plate into the equation and you have a recipe for a balanced stable ride. And then there's the TFT display that allows you to select from 12 riding modes to match your need for speed. Finishing this exquisite smorgasbord of features is the hydraulic brakes that promise the best braking performance of any Kaboo scooter. Priced at $2,495, there's no denying that the King GT represents a raising of the stakes, but with the extra cost, you get a whole new level of performance that will leave you in awe. We're in the big leagues now and out of the countless electric scooters that I've tested, none come close to the sheer quality of the Nami Bernie 2. This rocket is cataclysmic when it comes to power, industry leading in its design and buttery smooth when we consider ride quality. Its dual 72 volt 1000 watt motors summon a monumental peak power output of 5040 watts and come twinned with sine wave controllers so speed it's fair to say is definitely on the menu. But beyond its maximum 45 miles per hour velocity, it brings stunning hill climbing abilities and a seriously zippy acceleration rate to the table. In fact, its acceleration is so impressive that it's just a couple fractions of seconds behind the mighty Wolf King GT when accelerating up to 25 miles per hour. Then we have the Bernie 2's crowning glory. It's fully adjustable hydraulic shock absorption setup. No other suspension system can touch the level of customization on show here. The rebound and damping can be dialed in to match your weight and terrain, making it a certified chameleon of all terrain scootering. No wonder then that the Bernie 2 was voted the model with the best suspension by our readers. Adding to the lofty levels of ride quality are the 11 inch tubeless tyres. When mine arrived I had it fitted with PMT tyres and even though I've tested many scooters with many different tyre variations, these were by far the best. Their outstandingly good grip controls wheel spin and gives you the feeling of being glued to the ground. The tyres do wonders for general riding too. Their rounded front on profile makes them nimble and as a result they're more effective at taking corners at a speed. They also also give braking performance a big boost resulting in an impressive stopping distance of just 1.8 meters from 15 miles per hour. The PMT tires are an extra outlay of course costing around $160 per pair but if you want to keep costs down the standard tires that the Bernie comes with as stock still do a great job. To cap everything off you can create customized riding modes to harness the Bernie's power. This is completely unique to this scooter 
to placing it in dual motor stardom. Combined with a giant sized deck, wide sprawling handlebars and an ergonomic thumb throttle, the Nami Bernie 2 is a genuine pleasure to handle, even at top speeds. The Wolf King GT's dual 72 volt 2000 watt motors are the biggest of all the scooters on this list. This manifests into a fearsome peak power output of 8400 watts, a whiplash inducing top speed of 62 miles per hour and an acceleration rate of 0 to 15 miles per hour in just 1.7 seconds before zooming up to 30 miles per hour in just short of Four seconds. I get it if you're thinking that's a bit much, but the good news is that the King GT also takes safety seriously. Its dual stem design eliminates high speed wobble while ensuring you always feel balanced and in control. The handlebars are also ultra wide measuring 29.5 inches while the grip slather deck is among the largest that I've tested. Plus with the ability to select from 12 different riding modes with each gradually increasing power upon the next, this wolf can be tamed. Then there's the suspension. Though not quite as show stopping as the Bernie 2 setup, the King GT system is still good enough to distinguish it as an all terrain monster and with interchangeable 11 inch street or off-road tires providing ample support, you can be sure of having the grip and tread needed for your environment. But be warned, because of the King's large imposing stature, it's not the most agile of scooters. Fortunately, the hydraulic brakes are agile. Not only are they strong and responsive, but they come back with an anti-lock braking system that prevents wheel lock and skidding to ensure a controlled braking experience. Ultimately, if you're an experienced rider seeking unparalleled performance that only the high octane world of dual mode scooters can deliver, then I'd pick the Wolf King GT. If you're interested to see how each of the scooters stack up against each other, keep watching as I reveal the results for top speed, acceleration, mileage and braking. Now, as always, I need to caveat that the most powerful scooters in the lineup dominate the rankings, which is to be expected. But these comparisons should be useful to give you an idea of how specific models stack up against each other. First up, we have the motor size, peak power and top speed comparisons. Here, the Wolf King GT dominates the rankings. Next we have the acceleration comparison. Again the Wolf King GT holds on to its first place finish but is very closely followed by the powerful Nami Bernie 2. The tables turn when we consider maximum mileage with the Nami rising to the top but when put under test conditions it was the Wolf King GT that prevailed. And finally closing our comparisons is the braking performance. Here the Nami takes the gold with an industry leading stopping distance of just 1.8 meters from 15 miles per hour. If you're still not sure which of the scooters featured in this video is right for you, then this next section will help. Earlier in the video, I mentioned that the Splash Titan is great for those on a budget, the Mantis King GT is ideal if you're seeking an all-terrain ride, and the Wolf King GT is perfect if you want to turn the power dial up to 11. But now I'm going to share some other recommendations of the scooters that I would use for different use cases, so things like the best model for long-range rides, climbing hills, commuting and so on. So to kick things off for long range rides I'm sure you would probably expect me to say the Wolf King GT considering it delivers the longest real world range but nothing can beat the comfort of the Nami Bernie 2 and comfort is key. The Bernie is also my top choice for the best ride quality. For climbing hills all the scooters featured are ideal but if I had to pick one that was relatively affordable and can easily scale steep inclines it would be the Mantis V2. If you're searching for a dual motor scooter that's portable and can be used for commuting, it's the Splash Twin. For an all weather scooter, 
any of the models will be fine since they all have water resistance ratings so the choice is yours i just wouldn't choose the splash twin because it's solid tires lack grip in wet conditions if i was forced to pick one though i'd go for the mantis king gt and if you want a scooter that you can attach a seat to then there's only one model with this capability and that's the wolf king gt and finally if you're a big rider whether that's heavy or tall my recommendation is the apollo ghost So there you have it, my list of the best dual motor electric scooters. As always, I'll add discount codes, links to buy and links to my video reviews in the description. That's all from me. See you in the next one.